a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I wanna see how this plays out. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. What a punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Just misses with that one. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big knee there to the chest. Oh! 30 seconds to go. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Round two next. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. It was three back. Cash. <laughs> Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> Every single strike he landed was on point. It was accurate, and it was heavy. Every time he let loose, he was able to land and land to great effect. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body. Again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Boom! Big jab. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And the horn sounds on round two. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, 
If he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Got him whip his hip into that kick. It's a good right hand right there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Big head kick lands. <laughs> Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Straight punch lands. Ooh, head kick lands, it's hurt. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Big leg kick lands. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Great punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. That's a short shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. He went high on that one. And they separate. Oh! That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that nose. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. 
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the story. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, he might be out. Go get him. Wow! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision.